Hey fellow foodies, today we are at Mercado Gonzalez, a new Mexican food hall that's open in Costa Mesa, California. In this video, I'm gonna show you around, but I'm gonna show you a couple things we've got to eat here first. First, we've got churros from El Moro Churro Spot. This place has been in Mexico City since 1935. We got the combination of four churros and a Mexican hot chocolate for $13. These churros, they fry up fresh to order. You can have them dipped in cinnamon or sugar, and it's a pretty healthy sized churro. Mmm, crunchy on the outside, soft in the center, good cinnamon, good sugar. So we got right here, we have uh, Sinaloa style sushi. So this one has got some shrimp tempura on it, some avocado, some spices. Let's give this one a try. There we go. Pick that right up and put it down the hatch. It's a, like, it's got some like yuzu in it and it's spicy and it also comes with like this little like green sauce right here. Mm. That gives it a good kick. We were gonna get some tacos to start back there from Tacos Los Guichos, except they told us it's a 40 minute wait for their tacos. This place is really busy. Uh, so we had these things while we're waiting for those tacos. But let me show you around this place a little bit and then we'll come back to see how those tacos tasted. All right, so we'll start the tour right by the front door, the main entrance, there are two. You can also come in at the churro stand that we're gonna check out last. As you come in the front door, you see the mega tortilla operation. They've got these big tortilla machines cranking these tortillas out. You can get the masa, you can get the tortillas. These are hot tortillas in these packages right here uh, for kind of opening week. They're giving out samples. You can see them going up there. And uh, they've got all the staff back here, flour tortillas, corn tortillas. You can see the production as to how they do it, where they take flour dough balls and turn them into tortillas. Over here on the left, we see one of the 20 food stalls. This is the tamale spot where they've got a whole bunch of different flavors of tamales, beef, pork, cheese. Uh, we had those two nights ago, they were really good. There's one high-end sit-down restaurant in here, my Zano, uh, and you can see it's quite nice inside. They even have valet parking. That's the Sinaloa Sushi Spot where I started this video, and uh, it's busy here today. There's an indoor seating area. Uh, it is busy. Lunchtime, this is uh, lunchtime before Thanksgiving, so a busy time, everybody's hungry. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look this way. Uh, there's a birria where you can get uh, birria, so basically like stewed meats, uh, spicy beef or goat stew, and uh, you can get it in uh, tacos or other combinations, and then they've got a variety of meats that you can see just over there. Lots of drinks here, lots of Mexican drinks. Of course, Mexican Coke, Paritos, uh, Tapo Chico for the sparkling water. Then right here, we've got the, like, I'm gonna call this the rotisserie chicken stall. You can see all of this rotisserie chicken right there. Uh, and uh, whoop. then we've got carnitas, where they've got some slow cooked carnitas. You can get a whole kind of like selection there. Kind of, all these dolls have pictures of what they serve, along with a lot of salsas that are over here. It's a combination of like stalls that are run by Northgate Market and stalls that are run by kind of like outside companies. They've got fresh made chicharrones, uh, fried pork skins, rice and beans with everything. And this is the front again. Uh, then we have an aqua fresca store where you can get fruit juices, fruit drinks, there's a little stall right here that you can get uh, like seasonal fresh cut fruit and they've got all these different fruits right up here. You can pick what you want and then you can pick what seasonings you want to go with it. Uh, out that way there is a outdoor patio in addition to the inside seating uh, and this is where like the, the food hall really blends with the market because you can see the groceries and the fruits and veg are just out with all these food vendors too. Uh, here we've got uh, chilaquiles, red enchiladas made to order. 
you can see the rice, you can see the beans, you can see pork belly in a red salsa, pork brine in green salsa, um, cactus, and uh, a number of soups that they have on order as well. Now back in this corner, Chiva Torta. This is a famous food truck that runs around Santa Ana. Now they have a permanent location here and uh, they sell some uh, spicy tortas. Uh, 13 bucks for a torta from this place. You can see that's spicy coming out there. Uh, I don't know what's going on here yet on the right. It looks like a open kitchen that is yet to be, or maybe it is, and this is where you just see them preparing various foods and salsas in the back. That looks like it's not super finished. As I said, they've just opened a few days ago. Oh, here on the right, they're sampling some uh, meats, some sausages, looks like some chorizo, and uh, this is the butcher stand to take a number. They've got a little thing right here that you can click to print a ticket to get a number. Uh, quite a big full service butcher shop. And they call out the numbers over the overhead. Uh, when they say, I say it's a full service butcher, you know it's a full service butcher when there is a whole pig right there. Yeah, you can get anything you want at this butcher shop. If you've been looking for some boutique meats, you're gonna find it here. Uh, here we've got the mariscos or the seafood stall, particularly with ceviche. You see them in these big uh, decorative mats. This is shrimp ceviche, uh, red shrimp with scallops, uh, fish ceviche, uh, agua chile, and then of course they've got lobsters and shrimps and everything that you might want from seafood right and it doesn't smell fishy. Like it's all super clean, it's all super nice, and so that's a pretty good octopus right over here. Uh, so yes, quite a good seafood selection. Now over this way is really the more, more traditional supermarket section. Yes, you can get not just uh, fruit, veg, and meat, but you can get eggs and milk and uh, all those sorts of things. They have a big alcohol section that's right in here where you get your beer imported daily. Uh, let's see, Mexican sodas down this aisle, Mexican cookies down this aisle, Mexican plates, no, they're, they're just plates. <laughs> um, we've got uh, juices, things like that over here. Then we've got the little market of cooking supplies. So if you wanted to get a big pot to cook your tamales in, this is where you're gonna find it. If you want to pick up some tostada shells, and then over here we see the uh, bread baking operation. This is an impressive bakery. Look at all those people back there making up tasty treats. Everything is clean, everything is sharp. You can see the cakes that they're making right here. Uh, looks like some chocolate cakes, and they've got their uh, berries and uh, different breads over there in the back. And then this is where you can buy them all. The pan dulce, the traditional sweet breads and uh, cakes. And then the big cakes are back here. They've also got big flans. A big flan's gonna cost you $17. A mini flan's gonna cost you five. The mini flans are up here. Big flans or big gelatins are kind of over down that way here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Yeah, that's the that's the big flan right down there. And this one has a also separate cashier. Now this is the churro stand that I mentioned to you before. Uh, if it gets busy, then they line people up out the door that way. This is the extra way to come in. Uh, what we had from here, that four churros, you can see they uh, fry them up fresh and then they give you uh, either cinnamon sugar or sugar, your choice to go with it. And then the hot chocolates that they have are all in just these different bats right here, kept hot, that they kind of like ladle out for you into a cup, uh, but those churros were quite good. We've got more uh, Mexican uh, kind of like clayware or pottery. You can get a jug to uh, dispense your water from. We've got the Mexican candy section. 
maybe you want to pick up some manguitos, lucky gummies, or some bubble gum, or uh, maybe some squinkles. How about some squinkles? Uh, over here, we've got cheeses, uh, creams, and ham. Over here, we've got chilies. So any uh, spicy chili that you might want. And uh, this place sells guacamole. Where's the guacamole? They're making it in the back. Fresh made guacamole. We got some of this two nights ago. It was super good because fresh made guacamole, so much better, regular guacamole, with all the ingredients, the tomatoes, uh, they have regular guacamole, jalapeno guacamole, and habanero guacamole. And you can see them uh, roasting some of the chilies that are over here. They're really good. Definitely, if you like guacamole, definitely check some of that out. It's like 8 or $9 a pound, something like that. Uh, and we've got a couple more stalls to check out just around this corner of the fruit stall. Working our way through the center. They are... Uh, sampling the looks like maybe cucumber or lime cucumber lime aqua fresca right here they've got uh, other juices if you don't want to stand line for the fresh made ones you can pick them up for four dollars in these little containers all these people are then waiting for the ones that they've ordered and they ladle them out of kind of the traditional um, bats or jars there is a florist right here also at the front so if you want to pick up some flowers uh, you can bring those home this is the uh, cashier stand seven self-service checkouts a whole bunch of self checkouts and if you've got little kiddos or your big kiddo they have a uh, pelateria or where you can get Mexican style ice cream and popsicles I really like these popsicles they're pretty tasty strawberry with cream Fresas con crema is probably my favorite. Uh, before we go check out the tacos to see if they're done, uh, OC Girl suggested, hey, if you're going to come here, uh, brush up a little bit on your Mexican foods, uh, what the names are in Spanish so you know what you're getting, because even though they may have some English at the bottom, the Mexican is what's big on top, and so that'll probably make you uh, sure that you get what you're actually looking for. And, Maybe not some other uh, unique organ meats that perhaps you weren't looking for. Okay, the tacos are not done yet, so let's explore a little bit over here. They've got kind of a cool fountain in the center of the seating area. There's a bar over in the corner. There's even a stage over here where they had some mariachis playing a couple nights ago. And let me show you the patio that is back here. A lot of really nice outdoor seating back here. They've got like televisions where they've got sports games on some cool booths over in the corner uh like right now this is like open seating but i wonder if this is going to turn more into like a bar lounge otherwise there is also a patio out in the front in front of the churro spot so here we go i'm double fisting it now our torta and our tacos are ready after 45 minutes let's start with the taco mm. hey, shot taco good meat good tortilla but use a little bit of salsa which is why i've got like Four of them here. Let's try the torta. Um, I'll start with some of the really red salsa. I like it. They put like beans on the bottom, guacamole. They fresh toast the bread. Mmm, delicious. Bella booties. If you find yourself in Costa Mesa, definitely check out Mercado Gonzalez. Just to be prepared for a wait right now during opening time. 